Is it too soon to declare Zion Williamson a bust? If former first round pick Greg Oden is regarded as a bust, the answer is no. Williamson was the first overall choice in the 2019 NBA Draft by the New Orleans Pelicans. Also, the former Duke star, much like Oden, has spent the majority of his NBA career on the bench. Williamson hasn't played for the Pelicans this season. According to one account, he may require more surgery. If that occurs, he will be dangerously close to Greg Oden's massive bust territory. Zion Williamson may require more surgery. Williamson hasn't lived up to the expectations since the Pelicans chose him over John Morant in 2019. With a torn meniscus in his right knee, he missed the first three months of his rookie season. After breaking his right foot in the summer, he hasn't played a single game this year. When he's been on the court, Williamson has shown hints of greatness. In his first season, the 6'6", 284-pound forward averaged 22.5 points and 6.3 rebounds in 24 games. He appeared in 61 games last season, playing 33.2 minutes per game and averaging 27 points and 7.2 rebounds. He appeared to be the rising star that the Pelicans intended him to be. There's a chance that Zion might need another surgery. According to Christian Clark, David Griffin, the Pelicans' executive vice president of basketball operations, said Williamson will undergo another round of medical imaging on his foot within the next week or two. Williamson was due to return in practice in December, but he began to have foot pain. For the time being, it's still a game of waiting. Surgery is still an option, but no decision has been made. If Zion Williamson misses the entire season, he might go down as the next Greg Oden. Oden was a standout collegiate player at Ohio State. During one season with the Buckeyes, the 7-foot center averaged 15.7 points and 9.6 rebounds and was a powerful presence in the middle. He blocked 3.3 shots per game on average. In his debut game, he came off the bench and scored 14 points, grabbed 10 rebounds, and blocked 5 shots. After that, he started every game and led the Buckeyes to the NCAA championship game where they were defeated by Florida. The Portland Trailblazers selected Odin with the first overall choice in the 2007 NBA Draft slightly ahead of Kevin Durant. Odin had knee surgery a month before the start of the season and missed the entire year. Injuries limited him to only 82 games over the next two years. He subsequently missed the following three seasons until making a comeback with the Miami Heat in 2013. He appeared in only 23 games before being forced to retire. If Williamson misses the remainder of the season, he will have played 85 games in his first three years as a player. That's only three more games than Odin. Although he was more productive on the court than Odin when he was there, Williamson could join Odin in the bus category if he doesn't get back on the court soon. During a Thursday episode of Get Up, ESPN's Brian Windhorst delivered a pessimistic assessment of Williamson's chances of returning soon. He said, quote unquote, A couple of weeks ago, the coaching staff and the players were made aware that Zion would not be returning for the foreseeable future, Windhorst said. So when they went into the trade deadline and made the big move for CJ McCollum, they did so knowing that there was a good chance Zion wouldn't be able to play in the short term, and possibly the rest of the season. The Pelicans have had a difficult stretch, falling to 23-35 and with one game remaining before the All-Star break. It's difficult to label Williamson and Odin bust when it's injuries rather than poor performances that has limited them. Odin, on the other hand, has carried that bust label with him since retirement, whether it's unfair or not. If he can't find a way back onto the court, Williamson might be right there with him. It's only a matter of time before his fate is determined. Do you guys think that Zion is going to turn out to be a bust? Let us know your opinions in the comments section down below. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in and making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.